Well, the Republic begins uh, in a moment at the public gathering uh, during the time of crisis when a pregnant woman and her husband which soldiers shoot and kill a young deaf boy. And in response to that murder, they see the whole town decides to protest the authorities by refusing to hear them. And that protest is coordinated by sign language. Um, the book is about many things. Um, I'm a refugee from, your, former USSR from Ukraine. And um, that book obviously speaks to that part of my life. But I have also lived in the United States for many years on the border between the United States and Mexico. So the book certainly speaks to that part of my life as well. Um, I'm also, I happen to be a hard of hearing person. And um, in the introduction to her great text, Extraordinary body, the disability scholar Rosemary Garland Thompson says that the disabled body should move from the realm of the hospital room to the realm of political minority. So the book is very much in conversation with that as well. Um, obviously, the book is about crisis, um, but, and we are both here in this country and in the US and many other places are in the moment of uh, severe crisis. But it seems like everything around us is trying to amplify the crisis. The capitalism is trying to make money on it, trying to make us buy things. Um, and the book is also trying to kind of put itself in tension with that by offering moments of tenderness, because so much suffering is amplified on a daily news all the time, but who and what will ampl amplify our tenderness? When I lived in USSR, I came to America when I was 16. I didn't really have hearing aids. So the Russian I knew in one way or another was a language of images I lip read. And when I began to write in English, I realized it later, after my first book, Dancing in Odessa, was published, that um, image is my main device. It's as if I'm trying to make poetry entirely out of images. Um, in Deaf Republic, I try to complicate that a little more. There are nursery rhymes, there are lullabies, there are lo love songs. Um, by going to the very roots of English, say, mother goose rhymes. Um, at the same time, the book wants to speak on more than one range of language. It wants to provide a story, but to remain lyrical in its verse. So there are prose poems or prose texts. There are there's verse with line breaks. There is also a parallel language, sign language, which tries to tell the story of the book itself. And that sign, signs are very important for me because um, I want the reader of the book to be implicated. Um, in the story of the book. And as the book proceeds, the video begins to know the signs without me having to tell them what the signs stand for. And my hope is that the book learns not just the language of science, but the language of the story. <laughs>